Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. Now before we get into the reaction guys, I want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel guys. You guys are really really amazing and today we got something really uh, special here. So we're gonna do Andrew Tate before and after accepting Islam. For those guys who don't know Andrew Tate, I mean he's been the most good man on the planet and then he got cancelled. Apparently, uh, as we talk right now, he accepted Islam, something like that. I don't know if that's true, but let's see on this video or maybe we can speculate on this video right there. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. <laughs> this is all haram. No, this is haram, bro. He, 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 this is haram. Wait, are you Muslim? Let me I'm Muslim, yeah. He is. Okay, okay. He, he is, but I'm not. Do you want to come back to that story? Yeah, that made no sense. You just said you choked him. I would have to say, if I, if I was to find God, it would have to be via Islam. I think it's the last religion on the planet. I think it's the right religion. I think it's the last religion. So if it's the, if it's the last true religion on the planet, then it has to be the correct one. If you want to look at countries, I'd love to actually do this study. Maybe you know better than me. But if you were to look at countries in terms of police expenditure to crime, I would I would guarantee that the Islamic countries, the ones we just talked about, the first world ones, are some of the safest countries on earth per capita for the amount of money they spend trying to police crime. Whereas in other countries, we're just spending unlimited money trying to stop crime we can't stop. Women don't respect men anymore. Men don't really want the women besides for a one night stand. No one's having children. No one's having families. No one's satisfied or fulfilled, which is why they want to take drugs and do stupid things and degenerate themselves. And everything spirals into the other, right? Humans need higher purpose. And, and this is the thing. I'll be completely honest with you, my friend. I was an atheist for a long time. Mm. I, I really was. I was an atheist for a long time. And I, I didn't truly really believe in God until about maybe seven, eight years ago. I thought I was a smart ass and thought I was, you know, atheist, blah, blah, blah. And then God started showing himself to me in many ways, whichever religion he's from. But then I realized that people need something to believe in. All these people who are atheist, they're, they're, they believe in climate change and, and abortion law and COVID more than anybody else they have their beliefs they have their religions liberalism and their religion is a religion of absolute degeneracy you know like look at the things they purport look at how hard they tried to convince the world that it's a good idea that we eat the bugs and and climate change and that people change gender and all this other garbage so everyone needs something higher to believe in and i think that these i mean i correct me if i'm wrong is islam is not even as old as christianity right it's not even that old is it well, it goes a little deeper if, if I can just take a second and kind of sure. ex run it down to you. See, what we believe is that you have the first man, Adam, and he was told to submit his will to the creator alone, without associates, not to worship a stick, a stone, a bone, or anything in creation. So we believe that Islam started with the first man, Adam. Then that concept of submission to the will of one and only one God, not worshiping your desires, not worshiping a human being, anything in creation, was the same way of life that was preached and teached f with every messenger that God Almighty sent and from Abraham Noah Moses you name it all many of the biblical prophets they all call their people to worship one and only one God and to submit their will like the Lord's Prayer you hear the Lord's Prayer oh our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done we say this is Islam so just like at that time if Abraham was asked uh, if he ever heard this term human he was a human, but he never heard the, the or human, that term human. Uh, but now, if if he was a human, he was. Same thing if you, there's a verse in the Quran where God Almighty is saying, Abraham, Abraham, he wasn't a Jew or a Christian, but he was one who submitted his will to God Almighty. That's what a Muslim is. Because people get, that's why uh, these defining these terms is so important because... You know, you think Muslim, you think an Arab in the desert, you think Islam, it's like some religion, just it's a new religion that started with Muhammad. No, no, we say it started with the first man, Adam. It continued with Moses, Abraham, Jesus, peace be upon him. They all call people to Islam to submit your will to the will of God. And they were all Muslims. They were all ones who submitted their will to one and only one God. You know, it's, it's a simple, it's very simple to understand, very, very, you know, and then when you mention uh, God, 
the, it's, it goes with the innate nature. There's a beautiful verse in the Quran where it's, it's, um, it's 112th chapter where it says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul huwa Allahu ahad lillahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakun lahu kufu an ahad Say he is God, the one and only, the the unique, the eternal. He begets not, nor is he begotten, meaning that he's not born of, of anyone, nor does he die. He doesn't have children, a DNA of zip code, an area code, no. Uh, and there's nothing comparable to him, nothing, nothing. If you, you cannot compare anyone or anything to God. This is the pure monotheism. This is what distinguishes Islam from every other ism, is the pure monotheism. So I hope I answered your question. So we say it's not a new religion started with my, uh, Muhammad. It's just the finality. He was just the final messenger, uh, completing it with the, the living miracle that we have today, which is the Quran. Because Jesus, at his time, to prove he was a messenger, he did m certain miracles. Uh, and, but if you were to ask an atheist today, show me those miracles, you couldn't show them. Uh, but we believe in them. But today, anyone who takes a scientific analytical approach, they will see from the preservation of the Quran to the prophecies, you know, to many of the scientific statements. There's, you know, the the literary miracle of the Quran. You know, there's just too many things that it doesn't add up that this would come from a hu just a human being. So it's not blind faith in Islam. You take you use the faculties that God Almighty gave you. You look into the Quran. You look into the life of Prophet Muhammad, and then, like myself and many, you're like, uh. -uh. This is not possible. This can come from a human being. And then you submit. Do you have a lot of Christians who, who convert or change? Do you have that a lot? You can go and watch, you know, I got hundreds. I've been doing this since uh, early 2000. We got hundreds and hundreds of uh, programs with people. I have a good friend. He's from Romania. He's uh, Gabriel El Romani. Gabriel El Romani. Uh, he's somebody who was a, a Christian and he accepted Islam. You have tons of tons of uh, tons of uh, stories of people, same thing, who are struggling with with many of the uh, concepts of God that are out there, um, and, and and then they looked into they looked into all the different different religions, like myself, and they saw that Islam just made the most sense. Like you're saying, the things that it fixed the problems, you know, of society, it gave solutions not only on how to go to the from the smallest things, from how to go to the bathroom to how to run your home and how to run a country. Everything is laid out. And it doesn't make sense that this human being could have came up with these things, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's absolutely, it's, it's absolutely interesting. And that's where yeah. the, the base of my faith comes yeah. from, my, my, my respect for it all. $50, $100, $200. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. For the amount that you will spend on a t-shirt, a pair of pants, or some shoes, which will eventually wear out, but your investment in the Dean Center won't a masjid and mega dawa center they'll bless your wealth in this life and the hereafter and for future generations to come we need your help to raise three hundred ninety five thousand dollars by december 31st and i know with your help and support inshallah we can do it click the link below donate right now may god almighty allah reward all of you leave without giving you a gift if you're not yet muslim and you're tuning in to see what these muslims are talking about and you like a free copy of the quran go ahead and visit thedeanshow.com we'll take care of the postage and everything and get it delivered to you and if you still have some questions about islam call us at 1-800-662-4752 we'll see you next time until then peace be with you assalamu alaikum and if you like this episode of the dean show like this video share this video far and wide, and support us on our Patreon page so we can continue this work. Thank you for tuning in. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. I think from the, uh, from the point of view, um, I feel like everybody has that uh, turning point of trying to understand or trying to uh, know some certain things in religion and whatnot. And everyone tries to go through a transition from from uh from a to to z and, and whatnot now i uh if you're raised in a proper manner where you um you're in a religion um um what do you call this place or something like that you you will tend to actually be disciplined in a way that you follow those um those laws and whatnot but uh, it, I, I think 
there is a stage that comes to when you start asking yourself questions and start questioning yourself. Sometimes you question your beliefs, you question things around you and whatnot. That is a very crucial moment where people at that point they need guidance to not actually go into the wrong um, wrong place where they find themselves doomed and whatnot. So um, I think charity all begins at home. How were you taught when you were young, and what was the uh, what was the actual uh, proponent of 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 belief that you 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 accepted at that time that you still have it uh, with it at this particular moment? Now it comes to a point where we live in a world where things change every day, with the new religions coming in the a new set of beliefs and all those kind of things are you disciplined enough to stick to what you used to believe in some do some not and then that goes back to your roots where how were you taught and how were you raised to believe throughout were you sharpened enough to understand that this is the true religion or they just let you be and the, just have your own personal choice and I, I, I accept the fact that people should have their own choice to decide where they want to go to. And um, uh, I think what Ted is trying to say about the whole, I mean, what uh, these guys are discussing is they're discussing about Islam and whatnot, which I find a little bit appealing just to, uh, to be in that um, space because the the way they do things the way they operate and all those kind of things it looks really it looks close as perfect close as good not really like 100 percent perfect cause, because there's no yeah there's no one who's perfect i i mean it's, it's it's really good do you understand but the the where is it that went, went wrong when 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 you look at christianity it's not like it's a bad religion no it's a really good religion it's just that uh there are things that if we follow as Christians, we're going to be as good as what Islam, you know? But it's just that it's too, um, there's so much things that has been misconstrued probably, maybe. And it's just, uh, people are trying to look at these two and they are wondering like, why, what went wrong here? Do you understand? Why are this, why is this still strong? And people are converting and, you know, just um, changing to, uh, I mean, um, why are people accepting this other religion and why not this one? Why are people falling out of this one? And why are people becoming atheists? And why are people, do you understand? And who are the, where the people who are becoming atheists, they're coming from what set of religion? Do you understand? And you find out that it comes, some of them, they come from a religion where it's, it's, it's probably not, um, there's no that, I mean, the foundation that was laid in them is not as firm as compared to this other one. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm telling you. But the big question here is, is Andrew Tate practicing Islam now or not? Man, you know, I'm, I'm an honest person. Anything can be... And this is social media again. Just because you saw Tate doing the, the Salah and all those kind of things doesn't mean that He's a, he's a Muslim. Do you understand? When I was young, I, 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 I used to have Muslim brothers and sisters. We used to go to the mosque and madrasa and we used to do the salah and then vice versa also. Um, my friends used to come, we used to go to church and all those kind of things. I mean, it used to be fun back in those days. But um, trying to look at this era that we live in today, um, people look for attention and at uh attention is, is 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 a new currency as you know if today you have attention you're going to get a lot of um what do you call this um you're going to get a lot of views traction and all those kind of things so once you do something and people like you end up becoming the person that they want to watch and with what andrew Tet is doing i hope he's doing a good thing i hope it's not for for cloud chasing it's not for for his own interest i believe he's doing it for his good uh will and the people around him also so i i believe so he's a he's a man of his own words i believe so i don't know
before this I actually reacted to him doing the prayer thing with his friends but then what we need to understand is like you said you used to go to the mosque yeah do you understand but that doesn't mean anything as long as you have friends it's understandable but at the end of the day you think he's doing this for views um you do realize it's his friend that took him to the mosque I don't know if he's doing this for the views because Andrew, Andrew, but another Andrew thing is, is a, this. Another thing I've noticed that he's got uh, Muslim supporters. Do you understand? Yes. Sometimes when you when you're on the internet creating content, you're pushed by the crowd to do certain things to keep yeah. them hooked. I hope I hope he wasn't like being being given something or maybe being, you know, look. Trust me, man. We live in a really dangerous world today. Any, any, anyone, anything can do a, a trick just to make sure. Because Andrew has a following, yeah. If 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 you look at uh, at Andrew and and you're like, hey, the guy is Muslim. God damn, you know. Why can't I also change to be Muslim? Just because Andrew is Muslim. Now you want also to That's go to that direction. Because he's you know? got the fame. Yeah, because look after yeah, him, you know, it was the most. Ima imagine the most. Converts to Islam as yeah. well. Imagine the most Googled man changed to Islam. Who am I not to? Do you understand? That's the question right there. So um, I hope he has not been given some token or he has not been given some some little change for him to act as a vessel in front of the people. I which it will be so, so bad. Do I you understand? So. I don't know. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking. It's okay to have yeah. an opinion. Yeah, this is my own opinion. I'm just saying because... I'm a free thinker. I really want to f think freely and give people something to think about. If that's the case, then I think it's a really, really, it's really bad. But the way I understand Andrew and the way I've been watching his <coughs> videos and whatnot is a genuine person. Just by watching him, I'm not saying I know him personally. He might be not genuine person, but just from he looks like a a, a person who understands what he's doing. He's a, he's a man of his own word. So <laughs> I, I I feel like. Huh? But then we, we really can know someone because all of us, when we come, turn on the camera, yeah. we want people to see what we show them. Do you understand? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We live people in don't know how we are behind the scenes, behind the camera. It's true. Um, anyway, if he, uh, it's a I, good thing. I mean, for him, for what he's doing, it's a good thing. It's for his own good goodness. and I don't think he's converted. This. But I think he knew that him going to the mosque praying would have people talking worldwide. To create traction, yes. Yeah. And I don't think anyone is praying him though. I, re I really doubt. But to feature on someone's channel, you must be getting something in return. He may not be getting paid, but he might be getting favors. And to, you know... You know, one thing I like about the... Uh, it's viewers at the end of yeah. the day. The go-to, yeah. is it Rambo? What's it called? Rumble? Yeah, Rumble, yeah. I mean, I'm, when, when, yeah, when I'm talking about favors is, you know, when, let's say, for example, you've, okay, we have like a club, yeah? Once you get to a club, this is what we do. Do you understand? And you're automatically my friend. You know, we have same interest. Uh, our common interest is this, so you're part of, you're part of us. So you can have favors in different ways do you understand what i mean and one thing about muslims they like the, the, the unity that is in them is just impeccable they take understand? care of their own yeah they take care of their own and they make sure that you are not left like they you're not behind like they pull you up you get it so with that um with that kind of treatment um i think most probably is getting that kind of treatment which it's not a bad thing, but I'm I'm hundred percent sure it's getting some little favors here and that, and which is good. Let us know what you guys think. If there's anything you'd love to contribute to this, feel free to comment down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Give us a name and the link, and we'll be sure to check it out. And we'll see you next time. Deuces.